Okay, everybody. This is Debbie. Um, haven't seen you guys in a while. I thought I would just show you. I have lost 16 pounds. I'm almost at the 20-pound mark. And so I weigh 224 pounds. And I'm very happy about that. Very happy about that. Because, and, and also because I have so much more energy now, and I've been walking more, and I got a new outfit my sister got for me to exercise, which is very encouraging, and so I'm just going to display it with my cute little hip swing. There you go. Uh -huh. Work it, girl. <laughs> and so I got my cute little outfit here, and I'm just trying to show you how good I look how good I feel, how good everything is. And I'm very, very happy with the way things are. And, and I just want to encourage everybody to keep it on, keep on checking along. I have done something a little different this time around after the Ruby challenges that was over. Um, I was finding it a little bit more difficult to sleep. Um, I had restless leg syndrome. I had pains in my knees, pains in my ankles, pains in my back, pains in my hands, my elbows. I just have all kinds of pains. But then my friend um, I graduated high school with named Michael Kelly, had, uh, apparently he, he gave me some information that he usually gives his patients and, um, on weight loss. And so what, he, what I basically have done from all the information that he's given me is change a little bit of the way I eat. I stuck with the way I exercise, and um, but what I changed in the way I eat is I eat whole food, whole fruits and vegetables, and um, unprocessed meats. And so basically, I have for breakfast um, oatmeal. I combine that with um, fresh fruit. Um, sometimes a whole banana, sometimes a bunch of slices of strawberry. I don't add any sugar or any milk in there. I do not drink milk or have milk products um, except for a little bit of shredded cheese on my salads and my salads. I eat spinach. And guess what I found out online? Spinach leaves, fresh spinach leaves, helps with restless leg syndrome. And I am not taking my restless leg syndrome medicine that I was just prescribed for. Um, and I can sleep now. I don't have RLS anymore. And it only take, took a couple of days of just changing my, the way I ate. Of course, I have been trying to change I, the, way I, uh, the way I usually eat for some time now. So baby steps, and here I am now. Um, so I work my way to this point. And now um, I eat a lot of, of frozen veggies. And there's a product called West Pack, W E S T P A C, frozen food combos in the frozen food section. And my husband got me a whole bunch of these bags of frozen vegetables and mixed vegetables, and I just put them in the microwave for three minutes on a plate and cover it up and add a bunch of uh, leftover um, chicken tenders, chop those up. And I love my Mrs. Dash, and I just sprinkle Mrs. Dash on there. And if you want to, you could put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on there. And then um, it just tastes so fabulous. It's like I have my meal is already ready for me. As long as I have cooked my chicken ahead of time, my meal is ready in three minutes in the microwave. And so that is really something to do if you're not used to cooking for yourself and you just got a microwave and you don't know how to cook well this just go get these vegetables they're already cut up for you and what i do is i buy frozen um chicken tenders and there's these cute little chicken strips about this long about this and this skinny <laughs> three of those is a meal you can chop them up mix it up with all your vegetables and then you've got a whole plate this much food to eat on a plate for a meal, and you can just enjoy it, and know, just know you're eating something that's good for you, and just know you're going to end up 
looking like this. I am losing a pound, just about a pound a day now. And I'm so happy I'm going to be at my, I feel like, I, I think at this rate I'm going to be at my target weight, possibly by my birthday in January. I'm hoping and praying and, and I'm sticking with it. I am also being tempted. Talk about eating out. My friend Susie June, um, she, she asked me to make a new video. And so Susie, here's my video. And um, I noticed that on your last video that you made four weeks ago, you talked about eating out. And so my husband, some, I just say, you, you got to learn how to say no. Say just say no. Or come up with an option. Come to my house and I'll cook for you. Okay, and we shall eat healthy together and yummy healthy. And um, mix these vegetables up like I talked about and these chicken tenders after you bake them in the, uh, in, the, um, in the oven. And what I do for my chicken tenders is I take my cookie sheet, I put a tin foil, a sheet of tin foil on that, spray it over with some cooking spray, and I dump my chicken tenders there, spray on top of the chicken tenders with the uh, nonstick spray. I take my Miss Mrs. Dash and just sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. And then put it in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes. And bing, boom, you've got yourself a whole bunch of chicken tenders. Cool those suckers off, put them in the, in the refrigerator for later so you can chop them up, put them in salads, or add them with your vegetables in the microwave later. So that's what I do every day. And I stay away from bread, stay away from um, milk. And I stay away from processed sugar, you know, the, the whole sugar. So it's okay if you want to have your sugar as long as it's in your vegetables and fruits, don't you know? And so here I am just trying to show you how to eat healthy. And you don't have to eat like the regular Norwegian, which I'm not, but I'm around plenty of them. And this is the way my neighbor talks. <laughs> I have... A whole lot of Norwegian next door, and this is the way, this is the way my my neighbor Cal talks. And anyway, so anyway, enough of that silliness. But um, I'm here to encourage you to go walking, exercising. What I do for my exercise is I go next to the river. I mean, we are having the most beautiful fall right now, and this is the best time for walking because it's not too hot to walk. It's not too cold to walk. You can get up, I can get up at 6.30 in the morning and go walking and it's not too cold. Or today it's going to be in the 70s. I can leave right now and go walking, which I probably am now that I've made this video. This I'm encouraging myself to go walking. I had planned to go at 6.30 this morning, but then I had to replace my sink, my kitchen sink, with a uh, sink faucet with my husband. And that's done. And so now... I need to get my butt on that trail over by the Red River at Moorhead <laughs> in Fargo Moorhead. And so that's what I'm going to go do. Um, get, I got my water. Dun da da da! My water. Woohoo! And go walking on the trail. Walking on the trail. And that's what I'll do for about an hour. I'm training for a 5K next weekend. I'm going to go walk a 5k in Racing, Wisconsin. The Biggest Loser 5, 10, 15k race walk. I mean, sorry, walk, run, race. <laughs> and me and my two sisters are going to ride down there and do that together, which I'm so excited. <laughs> and um, uh, I didn't even mention to you I do on my off days. I'm still doing what I do on my off days. Um, I have my own little home gym with my exercise bike and my ab flex and my weights that I do for my arm and my neck stretches that I do for my neck and I do my leg stretches and um, so I only stretch after exercising not before. That way I don't have any injuries because you gotta have your blood flowing, your blood pumping before you do your stretches. I know people like to stretch before they exercise but I don't know I tend to, that's what I come to know and Jillian Michaels talks about don't stretch before, just stretch after. So I'm going according to what Jillian Michaels said. Cause, and guess what? She's back on the biggest loser! Woohoo! <laughs> Jillian Michaels, welcome back! We have missed 
OMG! How long ha has it been? I mean, this is season 14. And um, I don't know if anybody else out there knows, but I was planning and I was talking about it. I was going to go try out for season 14 of The Biggest Loser. But things didn't work out financially to go down there. And I just wasn't ready psychologically to leave my house for six months away from my family to lose weight. And I think that um, I am growing as a person, learning how to say no to what everybody else is eating and uh, yes to what I'm eating. And I'm making a positive impact on my family. So they're seeing me change right before their eyes. They're seeing me eat different than them. And they're trying out some of my chicken tenders and they're like, this tastes so good. And so if I were to go and be on The Biggest Loser, um, I don't know that they, they would even air the food part. I don't see them airing very much of what people eat. And that's really actually, I think, the most important thing. Because um, exercise is exercise. Um, I think we get it. It's this season 14, I think we get it, folks. It's time to focus on the food. And I know you all talk about the food on The, uh, on the Biggest Loser, but um, not enough. <laughs> I think you need to focus more on how to prepare food because people are growing up, kids are growing up nowadays, they don't know how to cook. I mean, my husband's sister, when she started college a few years back, she had to call us and ask us, how do you wash clothes? How do you cook? And so we talked her through it. We showed her um, different things. We gave her some um, different things she could do online. or even, Anyway, we just gave her the instructions, and she's really good at following instructions. And now she, knows she makes the best dinners, and people love coming over to her house for dinner. And she knows how to cook. She knows how to cook healthy. She knows how to cook delicious. And anyway... I'm trying to be a good positive influence on my kids here, and that's why I didn't go ahead and send in a tape for The Biggest Loser Season 14, because I wanted to be a positive influence on my kids here at home, and I know I can. And not only, uh, um, I think I'm, I'm accomplishing what I, and it's not, besides, if I were to leave, I think it would be more of a negative impact on me to be away from home than being here with my family. I mean, my therapist is here. I need my therapist when I have a bad day or when I'm having a good day for someone to, to um, share it with and for her to encourage me and give me new, new ideas on how to be. That's another um, option I think that The Biggest Loser could really, really look into is therapy for the, for the contestants. Um, therapy really has helped me a lot in the past eight months. And I am not the same person I was eight months ago, up here anyway. And every t now that I've been losing weight, getting therapy, good things are happening, doors are opening. Um, I am, um, I, <laughs> goals in my mind have just popped into my head. There's, there's things I could do. I'm going outside my comfort zone. I am no longer allowing myself to be stuck in this house doing just doing nothing but sleeping and watching movies. I am out there. I'm going to be helping out at um, uh, my church a lot more now, and I'm going to do a church, free church giveaway. And uh, I had just went to Bismarck last weekend to help out another church, because they're starting another church, a uh, revived Christian church in Bismarck, North Dakota. I tra traveled down there with some friends, from church and I had a blast. I mean, when was the last time I went anything anywhere without the fam? I mean, it felt great, but it also felt great coming home and not being away for too long. Because I, I don't do well being away home from home for too long. And I need my support group. And that's why I'm here. That's why I'm doing these videos. I'm here for you guys. And... I know you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. I mean, I am losing about a pound a day eating this way. And I go on MyFitnessPal.com, record everything that I eat. I even put a cup, cut up, I put a recipe on there. I'm going to put another recipe on there um, pretty soon here. And um, I'm just excited. I can't wait to get this weight off. 
I can't wait to get down to minus 20. I'm here right today, minus 16. And I'm so excited. Yeah, I hope you can see it in me. I see it in me. I see it in me. I feel it in me. And here I don't feel like the same person. Um, I can run up the stairs now. <laughs> Phone is ringing. If it hits the fourth ring, the answering machine picks up. So I'm like, woohoo! And I surprise myself. I'm like, woohoo! Look at me! I'm running up the stairs! <laughs> So you'll you'll start surprising yourself too. You will, folks. You will. Um, if you're just starting this um, journey, this weight loss journey, you will be surprising yourself. You are able to do more than you ever thought that you could. And I know that I cannot do even one iota of this weight loss program without my Lord God in heaven. And I just want to stand up for that. Stand up for what I believe in. And the Bible's. I believe. You know the Bible. And the Bible says. If you are ashamed of me, says the Lord, I will be ashamed of you. And so I'm standing up for God. I am here for, for you guys. And um, I'm trying to give everyone every option, every avenue, every idea of what I've come up with on, on my own, different steps on how to get this weight off. And I hope that this video has helped you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. If so, please comment below or leave a video of your own. I'll be glad to look at it. And I'm so excited about racing Wisconsin next week. <laughs> Ruby, thank you for getting me started on this. God bless you, sister. I love you, and I love all of you guys out there. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Woo! Bye-bye.